AO Spine, a leading international community of spine and orthopedic surgeons, academics and spine care professionals, presents its latest publication. Minimally Invasive Spine Surgery. Techniques, Evidence and Controversies. The book's editors, Roger Hertel, neurosurgeon and chief of spinal surgery at the Brain and Spine Center at New York's Vile Cornell Medical College, and Andreas Korge, head of department of the Spine Center at the Schöne Clinic in Munich, explain the features of the book. A minimally invasive spinal procedure describes a procedure that is associated with less collateral tissue damage, a decrease in morbidity and pain, more rapid functional recovery, with the same or better surgical outcome compared to traditional open surgery. It is based on four pillars, microsurgery, better minimally invasive access, better implants and instrumentation, and navigation technologies. This book is important because MIS is a young and rapidly evolving discipline. There are new techniques and trends coming on the market every day. It is a promising field to improve care of our patients, but there's also a lot of excitement, misunderstanding, and hype out there. Therefore, there's a great need to have a publication as a reference that will clearly tell you what is possible, what makes sense, what may not make sense, and how do you best incorporate less invasive techniques into your daily practice as a surgeon. The book consists of five sections with 32 chapters. Section 1 deals with the fundamentals of MIST, including its rationale, the pillars of MIST, and the relation to navigation, biologic, evidence-based medicine, and others. Section 2 covers the cervical spine, with special emphasis to foraminotomies and the C1-2 region from an anterior or posterior approach. Section 3 deals with thoracic techniques, including anterior video assisted and microscopic transthoracic approaches, and microscopic and percutaneous techniques from the back. Section 4, covering the lumbar spine, includes posterior endoscopic, percutaneous, and mini open techniques for soft tissue pathologies and degenerative disorders. Finally, Section 5 gives a critical overview and an outlook. A special feature of the book is the inclusion of a tips and tricks section in each chapter, providing supporting or alternative approaches and pearls from some of the masses in the field, as well as an overview of the evidence-based research literature available on each topic. This book on minimally invasive spinal surgery was prepared using the knowledge and skills of 75 of the world's leading spine surgeons. But it has been written in a clear and logical way, ideal for both the experienced surgeon or the recent graduate, anyone looking to improve their skills in minimally invasive techniques. You should consider getting this book because it provides a comprehensive and easy to read and unbiased and honest a scientifically based overview of current minimally invasive spinal techniques and trends. Its purpose is to serve as the reference for those who want to learn more about minimally invasive spinal surgery. Andreas and I are very honored to be able to bring this book to you and wholeheartedly recommend it as the ideal reference and learning tool for spine surgeons around the world. Minimally Invasive Spine Surgery Techniques, Evidence and Controversies is available in both hardcover and ebook from TMA Publishing. For more information, contact the AO Foundation or visit www.tma.com.